Hi, Dr. Keith Forwith coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. So we're continuing with our discussion of the thyroid and we're going to talk a little bit about how do we determine how the thyroid is working. And so we talked in a, in a previous video about the storage form and the active form of the hormone and we also talked about this hormone TSH. Now, if you are going to get one single lab test to see if your thyroid hormone is at the appropriate level, the best test by far is the TSH. Okay? It is the gold standard. It is by far the best test, and there is no doubting that. Now, having said that, there may be cases where you would like to not just get the TSH, but also check these other things, T4 and T3. And sometimes, and we would call this the basic thyroid panel, Sometimes we see a different story when we look at the other two hormones. We're going to have a subsequent video on lab interpretation in detail, but the basics of it are that the TSH is the best test if you're just getting one test, and it should tell you where you are on the spectrum. If it's super low, hyperthyroidism. If it's super high, hypothyroidism. We'll talk again later about more difficult cases here. Typically, the TSH is most responsive to the T4 level, but both of these things are important when we're looking at individual cases. We get the question all the time, well, I feel like I have a thyroid problem because I've looked on the internet and it seems like I'm hypothyroid, but my TSH is normal and so my doctor says that I am normal from a thyroid standpoint. And for the most part, that is generally true. Are there exceptions to that? Yes, there are, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. I will tell you that more people think there are exceptions than actually are, and part of the problem is that when we look at the thyroid, these symptoms are pretty vague. Fatigue, weight gain, dry skin, constipation, sluggishness, depression, all these things can happen for other reasons other than the thyroid, okay? And so sometimes, the TSH says that you're normal, and then the other labs will also say that you're normal as well. When we think about what can mimic a low thyroid, there are two things that we see quite frequently. The biggest reason that we see people who think they have a low thyroid and they don't is obstructive sleep apnea or sleep apnea. Sleep apnea can give you all the kind of things that make you think that your thyroid is low, especially the fatigue. We also see that some people have an overactive thyroid, even though they think that they line up with these symptoms as well. So labs are important in figuring this out, and it can be complex, and it can be frustrating. So if you're in this boat and you're looking at these videos and you're trying to figure out what's going on, just realize that the thyroid is a very, very complicated thing, and that sometimes simple explanations aren't quite enough. But what I'm trying to do in this set of videos is give you the basics so that we can move on to more detailed, more advanced things in subsequent videos. Stay tuned for more videos. They'll be coming forth with more detailed videos on all of these different subjects. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to the channel and then you'll get notified if you hit that bell icon when more videos are coming out. Feel free to leave comments below. I can't answer any specific medical questions that you might have but I'd love to hear suggestions on what you'd like to see in further videos. Remember that these videos are for educational purposes. They're not to give specific medical advice. That's your doctor's job. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you found them educational 